guys, <laughs> we're going to be heading out to the shop again. I've already been out there for a good m amount of the day cutting up those, uh, well, cutting the angles into the steel for that swing arm. But I had a problem and my grinder broke on me. The switch on the side of the, the grinder, you know those Harbor Freight grinders? Well, I went to turn it on today and my, you know, my thumb just... The, they've got a little slider inside there and when I push the switch up the button just flopped off <laughs> went flying so I had to go down to Harbor Freight and uh, get a new grinder which is kind of cool so we'll head out to the shop here uh, show you what we've done so far. Alright guys, this is where I'm at right now. Now, it, now I have it all uh, welded slightly. But these areas right here I just have tacked for right now. So I'm going to get ready to weld those pieces into place. And yeah, see how I have that set up. Well, kind of. This metal bar, this middle bar right here is just to keep this spread apart. Because when I when I was welding this all up, you guys know that shit flexes on you. So I had to put in, this is 28 inches wide from outside to outside. So I had to cut a piece inside there to, make, to be 26 inches to spread this out. So these points would be centered. So let me do this quick. No, I have these things just slightly tacked so I can't uh... And believe me when I say I'm going to be welding the hell out of these connections. Can you see how the axle is on there? If I center these bars and weld them in the center, I'm gonna have a problem with this one goofball hanger that I've got here. And I wanna use this, cause you know, it's just kinda sitting around, ain't doing nothing. So maybe if I moved these hangers to the outside and welded them onto the side of the bar, That would bring down that center bar, that center hanger by the quarter of an inch. Well, maybe, maybe that looks more like a half inch. Let me play around with this a little bit. All right. So what I did now to put my axle on, I measured back from the spindle straight back. Found a fixed point up there, and I measured straight back at 80 inches. That's where I put a mark. Measured the thickness of these hangers and those are four inches so I put a mark at two inches and then centered it that way. And Then I'll be doing the same thing over there. Now this center piece here this is gonna be a little floppy and it's gonna hang off a little bit. But uh, we'll be able to figure something out with that. I'll have to plug that up, so 
pluck up that and bleh, ugh, yeah but these ones here are the ones that I'm really caring about for right now this here this is about a quarter inch height so I could probably just put some filler in there put a piece of quarter inch uh, flat stock in there so now that that's in there let's do it Okay guys, for this next segment of the video, you might want to switch over to full screen mode. Uh, my camera out in the shop, the batteries died for uh, video, but it was able to take a bunch of pictures. So, uh, I decided to do it this way. So, you're going to want to click right below the TV screen here and uh, adjust it to full screen so you can see the pictures better. Alright. Well... Uh, what I had to do here is this first picture, uh, because the the uh, axle brackets are made out of a 3 8 inch thick steel, and I'm welding them onto 0.095 wall thickness square tubing, I had to stack my welds, and that's one of the reasons why they look the way they do. Uh, this first picture shows one side. And I, the, the next picture shows that I took the, uh, the axle hangers and I moved them closer to the edge. So uh, that's got just one bead on it. And the first picture had uh, three, actually. I stacked them. I laid one bead in the corner and then stacked two along side by side. So I triangulated the weld. The, uh, this next picture shows what it looks like at the angle uh, if the shocks were on it um, you can see how the swing arm angles downward towards the ground as it's flipped upside down and I this next picture here shows a little bit better uh, the flash actually worked that time now in this next picture here you can see that I brought the swing arm uh, up enough to the point to where once I added the once I add the axle it'll be in line with the front spindle axle for the front tire once weight is on it, it they should align right up then I put the tires on it yeah upside down right now you can see the front there has a bar that's spreading the tires apart so you get a better better view of what it looks like. Uh, that's from the rear end right there. You can see that the center bearing isn't welded onto that center bar yet. Uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, this is just another picture here showing it. A little better picture because the, uh, the flash actually worked alright and didn't get create too much glare. And there's that very last one right there. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to be going out again tomorrow. And I'll be figuring out what I want to do with that very center uh, bearing. I'll be welding that all up. <laughs> this is turning out to look pretty cool, you guys. But anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, it's about... Uh, oh, jeez. It's four. It's almost 4.30 in the morning, and I'm editing this video right now. And go ahead, tell me what you guys think. I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, now, uh, I'm once I get it, uh, the tires, once I get everything adjusted, there's still a few more little things that I got to do. And then I'll have to uh, get somebody to help me flip it upside down. And then factor in where I got to do the shocks, etc., etc., etc. So, all right, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Wish me luck. Oh, one more thing. I'd also like to welcome all my new subscribers and my new viewers. Hello, guys. I just checked and I'm approaching 10,000 subscribers now, which is awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this build. I'm enjoying it. Oh man, this thing's going to be so cool. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs it up, and share it on Facebook and Twitter, and all the other stuff. Okay, alright, bye-bye.